Hey guys, this is Shiny Zekrom, back for the first time in quite a while with another PMU video. This time around, yes, it has been a while because we haven't had any new dungeons or much of notable revamps, except for one that I may cover sometime in the near future. But for now, we are going to be exploring a new dungeon that actually just released today. We are going to be heading in the direction of Friendship Forest, over this way. The way I'm going requires cut, but I do believe there's a way you can get around without needing cut. But you are going to have to have rock climb regardless, so... If anything, you can grab like rock climb and then just get a cut mon and just come down. I just usually have all my HMs on one. But right here, this little addition was not here before. And if we come up here, we reach Expo Plains Misty Cliffs. And we come in here, Mist Spring Woods is our brand new dungeon. So, let's get started, shall we? Well, let's not even waste any time. Let's get right into the swing of things. Okay. Well, one of the new things is literally right next to us. Nicket is brand new. Never released in an HC before either. This is brand new to this dungeon alone. Now that we have our um, need for HMs out of the way, we're going to actually just go right ahead and send home our B-Barrel. And we're going to actually gold mask and see if we can get this thing. We have exactly a 59% chance to get with the Gold Mask Frembo and Master Rank 3. We would have a little bit more if we were Guild Master, but regardless, 59% odds in the back. But besides Nicket, other recruitables to note in the first 20 floors are going to include Petalo, which is the first time it has been outside of Crescent Islet, and SF Garden Eggs. We have Swablu, which is also outside of Mount Skylift for the first time ever. And Flabebe, which Flabebe, as a note, is only starting on floor 16. The first section is 1 through 20F, so Flabebe will start 16 through 20, and we'll continue into the next section, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Well, let's see if we can... Nope. Hey, we got it! Not bad! Got the brand new Pokemon literally right at the start of the dungeon. That's not bad at all. But yeah, this is a good place to... Um, and we're gonna also get our setup back again now that we have a full party again. I'm running the mobile scarf today just to make it a little bit quicker. Just so these dungeon runs don't take as long because this is going to be a 64 floor, 60 floor dungeon total. And there is your proof of Swablu. Now you're gonna see Hatram is there, and that is gonna be a little bit of a thing for us later. And there's another Nicket. I'm hoping we maybe get to see at least one of each of the recruits per section. But it is what it is, man. Now I do come saying I would suggest you have one open item slot in your party. Oh, that was my mistake. That was my mistake, because I keep forgetting I'm not Noivern, so I don't have Moonlight, which can work on the walls. We aren't going to particularly really skip a rot or uh, stay on floors at all to find the fruits. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll uncover that problem when we get to it. Well, the good thing is that we used a Rev Seed and we happen to find one right back right away. Just a quick break. Oh, there's Petalo. So we've seen at least one Nicket Swablu and Petalo. That's a good sign. And we're actually getting through this place not too bad so far. 
As you can see, there are going to be a few different weathers, so something like Cloud9 you could bring along, or in the essence of what I'm doing, you can see I have a clear rock working with the sky crystal that I have, so worst comes to worst, I at least have clear rock to fall back on. Oh, and I almost forgot as I was going to pass through this floor. Right down here, you're going to want to look for a chamber that looks like this that has the item Dewdrop Drop Key. This key is going to be important literally in a few seconds. Clear everything out here. Do that. Since we have one right here. Oh. Yeah, because I forget I don't have a gem, so I can't prevent status conditions quite yet. Because I accidentally bought a second Sky Crystal instead of the gem, I think it was at one point. But yeah, that key always spawns on... Well, is supposed to spawn on 15 out. If you do have issues, you can always, like, contact staff and ask them, Hey, you know, I was supposed to get a key on 15, but I didn't. You know, that sort of thing. But for now, we want to get to after 20 up, as I kind of alluded, that's the end of the first section. We have not seen a Fabebe yet, but I promise I do know they are here. I have seen them. And it looks like we are not going to be seeing them. That's okay. Alright. But once we hit 20, you're going to see immediately why you need that key. You cannot move on in the dungeon unless you have said key. But beyond that, there's nothing really, like, anything here to heal you or anything. So, let's just continue right to the next section. So the next couple things to talk about here. Flabebe does continue for 21 through 25F. This section is 21 through 40, so it will only appear in the first five floors and Flabebe is gone. The other recruits that you're going to find in here are Spinda, which is the first time it is outside Gritty Burrow. Shroomish, which is the first time it is outside of... I believe it's... Um, it's out... The first time it's outside of the... Uh, or... No, because there's Fruity Grotto as well, I forgot. But anyways, Shroomus, and the big one is Meditite. The first time that Meditite is out of Bold Dojo Eggs. And Eggs in Arch for Training Dojo as well, but you get the point. It's the first time a recruitable Meditite is possible. Also on these floors and throughout the rest of the dungeon, except for the final floor, are going to be SRs. They are going to be a little bit more common, but here is the reason why. Um, Oricorio is going to spawn in these SRs, only one per SR via using Honey. It is the only recruit in these SRs, and also are going to be two deluxe boxes, which are going to contain all four of the different colored nectars, so that way you are going to be able to change your Oricorio's form. There is also Dewdrop Relic, which I'm not quite sure what that is, just because I haven't received the item and I didn't really get to find a description on it yet. So, sorry I can't give you the information on that. We also have Gold Leaf, Relic Gold, Relic Platinum, Soothe Bell, Revival Herb, and Leaf Stone. I think that's everything we had, so let us continue. No keys that you are going to have to worry about in this section, and for the rest of the dungeon for that matter. The rest of the dungeon is going to be a straightforward shoot. Um, I am not going to particularly sit for any of the recruits here. I'm pretty sure I've gotten a Spinda. I feel like I would have gotten a Shroomish by now. And Meditite, maybe if I happen to see it, I'll take a shot at it. Because I don't know if I have one, or if, you know, like I've hatched one before. I may or may not have, I'm not sure. And of course, I also should mention as well, anything I talk about here is shiny eligible in terms of the recruits. Nothing 
like Nick it's Chinese being held back. No, it, it is available and actually has already been found today. So I can vouch that it does exist. And yeah, there's Spinda. Oh, there's actually. Oh, wait, that's Spirit Light only. I thought that said Mad Type for some reason. We've seen like more than enough shroomish at this point, so. Oh, there it is, actually. There's the meta type right there. Sadly, it seems like Pobebe is likely going to be the only recruit we don't end up seeing in this run, but that's okay. Other than that, as you can kind of see, we're just, mo for the most part, kind of just speedrunning the dungeon, because, um, oh, there's a magic nice right there, and another one, wow, okay. Let's do that. We're getting a max ether, because we're almost out of roosts. Wow, we are, like... Meta tight central here. <laughs> Almost done with this section, actually. And I'm, I'm actually very happy this is going as quick as it is. This is a moderate training dungeon. I, sh I should have probably talked about this right at the beginning. I believe it's like... What was said by the creator of this dungeon, Luminosity... Um, I believe it is their first permanent dungeon that they have worked on, so congratulations on that. And, yeah. So anyways, now that we're at 40F, we have a midpoint here, where yes, the second or third time ever, third time I believe it is, that you can actually see other people in the middle of the dungeon. As you see, there is a Chimeco and a Kangaskhan storage here for you, so you can use those. I don't believe there's any healings, uh spot though so you won't be able to do it like that other than that nothing else to really note here so let's i say just continue no reason to hold back all right 41 through 60 just to reiterate um srs do continue throughout the rest of this dungeon up until 59 f 60 f is our last regular floor and obviously srs cannot spawn due to issues on the last floor so yeah, so SRs will occur 41 through 59, has the same Ori Corio spawns, and has the same SR boxes. It's the same throughout the whole dungeon. However, two um, recruits that we have here are going to be Hatena, which is the first time it is available outside of HC, and, oh, Fulbebe also, I forgot to mention earlier, is the first time it is also out of side of HC, but... We have a brand new recruit that has never released yet and has its first release and perma release. Indeedy, and both genders are available, both male and female. Because if you don't know, male and female in Didi have a little bit more of different roles. Um, I believe male is more of an attacker while the female is more of a support or vice versa, I can't remember. But they also do have different abilities. It is very hard to be able to tell at first what gender indeed you have, but if we can spot one, I'll kind of um, show you the sprites so you can kind of get the idea. But for the most part, it's if the horns look like they're pointing upwards, that's male, and if they look like they're pointing more downwards, that's female. The other way that you can tell a female is if Misty Terrain is on Pokemon nearby. Because only the female has the ability um, that sets up Misty Terrain. So it's, it's kind of the easy way to be able to know what gender indeed you ran into. Um, just be careful though because Audinos in here also have uh, Misty Surge. That's the ability I think I'm thinking of. But in... Uh, Audinos that you will see also are going to have the um, moved Misty terrain, so it might skew 
um, might skew your view on the Indeedy gender, but you should be able to get by otherwise, just like that. Speaking of Hatana, there's one right there. I say, let's go for it. Because I don't quite remember if I have one or not. So we're going to take our chances at it. What's our chances? 56.6, so not bad. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, but... Unfortunately, we didn't get it, but that's completely okay. Oh, hey, honey. What's this? Oh, hey, it's that two-drop relic that I was talking about. I'm assuming if it's like this, I'm gonna assume it's probably just a... sellable. 3.5, yeah. Wire droplets, fun on specifically to record the touch. Might be able to sell for a decent price, yeah. So we'll keep it, because, I mean, a little bit of money is a little bit of money, right? Well, there you go. Now, now we just found out what that does together. Not bad, we made it through on skis. Really, I just healed that. Well, what kind of luck was that? And as a quick side note, there are no eggs throughout the dungeon, so don't worry about, um... Well, you didn't mention eggs. Are there any? I, for I did forget to mention there are zero eggs in the dungeon, so you don't have to worry about those. And looks like no indeedy on our run. There's another dewdrop row. But yeah, it looks like no Indeedee on the run. That's okay. But I do promise they are here. I actually have seen and recruited both genders. So now we get to this. You won't be going any further. I know why you're here. You're just like everyone else. I've been trying to protect the history of this place. All these ancient treasures shouldn't be taken. Ever since I was taken in by the Pokemon in this forest, I took it upon myself to protect it. I won't give you a sob story, though. But since you made it all this way, you must be some skilled robber, huh? 
Well, too bad. I'll stop you right in your tracks. And I think the spirits of the woods here agree with me. You were a fool if you thought you'd only be fighting me. Well, the trees and everything in the forest know what you're trying to do, and there won't be any forgiveness for you. If you refuse to leave, we'll have to give you a real fight. We'll be... We'll be sure to make sure you never come back, or maybe you'll never be able to leave. Whatever, though. I don't want to drag on any longer. Get ready. Try not to let the flock throw you off too much. So we have a boss fight with two, or sorry, three Trevenants and one Zorro. They're not particularly buffed or anything, so they're pretty easy to defeat. As you see, AoE, I kind of stopped him. Please, stop! This traveler doesn't mean harm to you. And you're mistaken. This one is no thief. I understand you four are angry. However, I can promise you they mean no harm. They're simply a friendly explorer, part of a rescue team. Alright, you better have good reasoning for this. I'll trust you for now. I've been so on edge with all these scavengers and thieves coming in. Hey, it's not a bad thing to want to protect this place. I know you care deeply about these ruins and all the history. I can't blame you. Ever since I rescued you on that one day, at this very place. I just don't want to see you throw yourself into more fights over this. Can you promise me you'll be more careful? And, uh, you have my word. I'll try to be more understanding. Mind if I ask your name? I see. I'd like to apologize to you. Maybe this won't seem genuine, but I figured it's good to at least tell you that I'm sorry. Given how our battle went, I doubted myself. I question your reason for being here, but now I see you're not like those selfish thieves from before. I do appreciate that. Aw, oh, don't fret too much over things. You should be more welcoming to guests, though. I know, I know. You know what? I'll let you into the lake sanctuary. Feel free to grab yourself a souvenir. Think of it as a little gift from us. You sure about that? Yep, they have a good heart. Besides, there won't be such a high ranking explorer if they weren't sincere. Heh, <laughs> I'll trust your judgment. You guys enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna head off to scout some more. Nice meeting you. Aw, oh, darn, he left before I could say bye. Well, anyways, I'll summon a warp that will be able to take you to the lake. See you there. Let me just come up here. Two uh, Lux slash N boxes here waiting for us. I know it's gonna seem a little like a wait. No, actually, I'll keep telling you. So these N boxes are gonna contain the following items Mist Bloom Bouquet, which I'm not quite sure what that does, Air Balloon. Cloudy Rock and Foggy Rock, which are the first time they were available outside the Tanrin Undercity shop. We have Trap Scarf, Relic Vase, Blue Bow, Max Revive, TM X Scissor, and TM U Turn. I believe there might be a Dawnstone and one other item that I think I saw someone post about, but I don't want to necessarily confirm that. Do mind you that obviously because this dungeon just came out, there probably will be more SR box items and more the end box deluxe items that will be found. So these may not be complete lists, but I just wanted to get this video out because I have a very busy week and wanted to make sure that I at least got a video out on the new dungeon so that way you guys could see what is all available. We'll talk to Celebi and Sephira the Dragon here really quickly and that'll be just about it. Heh <laughs> hi, isn't this lake so calming? This place has been undisturbed for so for as long as I can remember, and we've been making sure it stays that way. We decided to head out. Please take care. Oh gosh, I didn't think we'd get guests in here. In fact, you can only get here if Selby lets you. That's a rare opportunity since some people aren't too sure that Selby exists. And just like that, there are no other NPCs here, no other things to do, no other hidden boxes. So, we can just head out, and that is the dungeon. Now, what we're going to do is we'll just quickly open the deluxe boxes. Do I have enough to use? Okay. I forget. I also have that dewdrop relic that I can sell just to make sure of it. We'll open our boxes, and then I guess we're going to end things off here. TM Leech Life! Oh, that's... Well, we just found a new item. So, you guys saw it here. We got a new item. That had not been found by people yet. But anyways, that is going to take care of this video. 
Thank you guys for watching, and there is going to be very likely a dungeon revamp video coming out for Mineral Cavern. Do note it may not be this week, but hopefully within the next week I can get that out. But for now, that is the end of this. Take care, guys.